and welcome back to Fruitful Minutes. Today we're diving into a new series all about connective tissue health. This is going to be the first of a five-part series and we're talking about collagen and gelatin. So Dr. Kelly, it's a pretty hot topic, collagen, right now. I feel like it's, I mean, the collagen powder, it's in the beauty industry, it's everywhere. Um, but the old school version of that would have been gelatin. So really, what are the benefits or differences between the two? So there is a difference between the two, and the old school way was gelatin. And right. gelatin is a really rich source of collagen, uh, but now with technology, they've actually found a way to extract the collagen from the gelatin and break it down into a smaller, more absorbable form called a peptide or okay. hydrolyzed collagen, where it's not as much processing on the body. So okay. now we have a little bit more availability in terms of absorption to the collagen that we're taking by doing collagen peptides. Okay. But that was the main purpose. Take, people were actually taking gelatin yeah. back in the day was to get for extra that. collagen. So they've taken out a step for your digestive process basically by hydrolyzing or doing the peptides. Right. There's a time to use one or the other though. Okay. So some people are at home making gummies for their kids, doing some like more old school nutritional things, mm -hmm. making like lozenges. The gelatin is going to thicken up. So it's more appropriate for cooking and okay. doing your own like sauces or jellies and that kind of stuff and okay. putting in nutritional ingredients. Got it. Collagen isn't going to thicken up. So people are trying to use them interchangeably and it doesn't always work. You can do gotcha. a mixture of the two to mm -hmm. get extra collagen in with the gelatin. Uh, but if you're doing cooking, it's typically more gelatin. A lot of people are just taking straight collagen nowadays because right. it's a lot less processing in the body. Yeah. And collagen has so many benefits and it is really hot in the beauty industry and the beauty it's aisles. everywhere, yeah. Right. But, and it's been around for a long time as a beauty supplement, mm -hmm. um, but it's very supportive of other things. Do you know some of the other benefits of doing collagen? Joints, I know, is a big one because I know a lot of athletes will take it, um, especially or recovering from a joint injury. That's usually one of the best ways to kind of of promote more collagen and rebuild that. Yeah. So with collagen, it's supportive of all of our connective tissue. So to me, the collagen beauty benefits are almost like a side benefit. Okay. Um, it's really supportive of all of our uh, ligaments and tendons, which is why athletes in post-workout recovery, they're doing it right. um, because those are really connective tissue heavy. Blood vessels and arteries are really collagen dense. So uh, to maintain the integrity of those, people are doing more collagen. Our digestive tract is mostly collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in our yeah. body. And we actually lose production as we get older. Once we hit our mid-20s, we start declining in what collagen mm -hmm. we're actually producing and making, which is why when you get older, you do see the fine lines and wrinkles externally. Which is what everyone wants to take collagen for after the fact. Right. right. But think about if that's what it looks like on the surface, what does it look like on the inside? Yeah, that's really interesting. I didn't know it was so crucial in your internal organs and tissues. It's yeah. pretty vital, Absolutely. So when your body starts getting the peptides mm -hmm. in that broken down form, it actually signals to your body to start producing more collagen. It's like a trigger. Yeah, okay. which is really cool. And when your body starts making collagen, the collagen that you make typically lasts for about eight years. Wow. Which okay. is really nice. So really, if you're taking it at a younger age, even though you may have more of it, you would want to take it as like just to maintain and kind of prevent yeah. future loss as if you weren't taking any at all. Absolutely. Okay. And there's no bad time to start, right? Like it's not too late for somebody right. who's maybe right. older um, because again, it's supporting all those different connective tissues in the body. Yeah which is why it's so important. So right. it's very popular. Yes. We have a lot of powders and people yes. are mixing them into smoothies, but we wanted to share yes. a bit of like a pro tip Yes, because, this. well, and another one too, smoothies is a big one and coffee. So like, it seems like the new thing is putting collagen in your coffee. And so the reason that's really awesome is because in hot coffee, you dump it in, it absorbs and blends beautifully. Like you wouldn't even know it's there. The trick is though, if you're trying to add it to like iced beverages or anything that's just not a hot liquid, it's gonna get a little globby and it might taste a little funky. Right. So pro tip is dissolve it in a little hot water first, then dump it into any beverage. Cause right. you could virtually put it in like lemonade, ice water, like eventually once it's been Right, you wanna absorbed. melt it down. Keep in mind again, that most of this came from a gelatin source, right? right? And you gotta melt that down to get it into something. Yes. So people who are mixing it straight into cold beverages, it does get clumpy, it has mm -hmm. some, you know, kind of flavor to yeah. it. When you do it in a hot beverage first or a little bit of hot water to melt it down, 
no flavor. You, you can't it. tell it's there. And then there's no clumps either. Yeah. So it's, it's a really great option if you want to incorporate it. It makes it a lot easier. It's not like another pill you have to take. We really, uh, we really love our collagen. Yeah. Thanks for sharing those tips. We hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions or comments about collagen or gelatin, maybe there's a unique way that you guys use it. Let us know in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you on the next Fruitful Minutes.